God, I can't believe you're making me do another one of these. I thought I was done ever since you solved that issue with the Q&A video. But no, we're back again. And this time, it's personal. See this video at the top of the list? That is a video I am currently uploading via the Chrome browser. Because for some reason, Mozilla won't let me upload videos onto YouTube. And why am I making this? Because this one isn't monetized. And I've already checked my email. They haven't sent me anything saying that my work is not advertiser friendly. And even if it was not advertiser friendly, I'd expect a gold dollar sign, not a crossed out dollar sign. Now, before I officially write out YouTube as a piece of trash and try and find external sponsorships, I figure YouTube should have a say in the matter. So here are some list of things that may lead to this being not advertiser friendly. Number one would be because, like, I was using copyrighted material. Like, I was using footage from Yu-Gi-Oh! because it was the YouTube poop. And I was also using the Rick Astley song for a short moment of time. Like, those could be possible reasons why my video's not monetized. But, if that were the case, I would have been notified via the copyright notices page. For example, here are a list of videos on my channel, Improbables Classic, that have been hit with copyright notices. These four classic Improbables videos at the top, episodes 24 and 13, the Halloween special, and bonus episode number one, were all hit with a copyright match by various companies. Two of them were Hasbro and two of them were someone else. Note that it does have the crossed out dollar sign, but it also has the copyright claim notice, and even says down here on each of them includes copyrighted contents. That lets me know that it's a copyright issue. Do I have that on the Neo episode? Nope. That means it's not a copyright issue. Another possible reason could be that it does not conform with their new ad-friendly policies. Now, a lot of people have talked about the bullcrap that comes with the ad-friendly policies, such that you can't use profanity. I mean, a lot of people are using profanity today, and it still works just fine. So I guess it's kind of a loosey-goosey system, like which, what, like which companies will want to advertise on it and which ones won't. But maybe the issue is too much profanity. If that were to be the case, then that could just mean that all I have to do is make this new version, which leaves out some of the bad language, and everything will be fine. But, last I checked, if a video was deemed not to be advertiser friendly, but could still be filed for an appeal, this, this dollar sign would be gold, not crossed out. Here are some other th reasons. The Sega YouTube poop I reacted to, Pegasus's True Colors, contains some mature material that I would not expect to see in any video of YouTube. I figured that context, I figured that video taken out of context would would violate a, one of the community guidelines and thus hit me with a community strike. But if that were the case, that video would be taken down, and I also would have received an email from YouTube explaining the issue. I did not. Which also means that it could be another thing altogether. The fact that I faked a hijacking. I pretended that Orion hijacked my video to show his video in my video. Mainly because I wanted to, just to hide the fact that we're amateurs at this, pretty much. So, yeah. By the time you see this video, the video you see right here, the Fan Service Advertiser Friendly Edition, will be uploaded. I will keep the original video public in case YouTube decides to do something about it. The only differences between the Advertiser Friendly Edition and the original is that the Advertiser Friendly Edition is 10 minutes shorter, removes some scenes, bleeps out some bad words, puts 
black boxes, um, anything that needs to be censored, for the most part, and, um, what else? Oh, yeah, there was the one part where Rick Roll was playing in the background, I covered it up with a MIDI, so, just in, so I'm just covering all my bases with this advertiser-friendly edition, but seriously, YouTube, if you want to make my videos uneligible for monetization, you need to have a system in place where I can know what's going on. From this context, it looks like you're trying to f*** me over. I'm just a simple React channel. That's actually another theory I had was, was because I was a React channel, they could hurt me all they want. But no, that's not it either, because all these other videos are fine. All the other videos that I have monetized, be it my YouTube poops, my remasters, my reactions, my vlogs, they're okay. Um, ignore the gray dollar sign. I'm just not, I made a policy to not monetize any original Improbables videos that I put on here because I don't want to take traffic and, like, I may be leading traffic away from them until they get it back on their own channel. But the last thing I want to do is take money from them. I am sure as hell not taking any ad rep from them that they rightfully deserve. So, yeah. YouTube, you need to get your sh together and tell me what's going on. Also, as Great A Under A put in one of his videos... The YouTube algorithm f***s over anyone who only uploads once a week, right? So my response to this is I'm going to make more videos of different types and upload them on this channel as much as I can, as fast as I can, just to get people watching more of my videos more often. Um, I'm sorry if this can be misconstrued as spam, but like if YouTube says that I have to upload more often to keep viewers engaged, then so be it. Like, even if I have to temporarily make Improbables Neo a solo act, I'm going to upload as many videos as I can so that you guys can watch them and enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Expect a new type of video to air in like a day or two, and I will see you next time. Okay, literally 10 minutes after my video on the advertiser friendly edition has been uploaded, this video finally gets monetized. I want to say that I've won, but I'm not sure what happened. It's like every time I make a video, there's a chance of it sending off a landmine for one of my other videos, cutting off its monetization until I make another video which restores all the monetization. <sighs> I'm going to keep both versions up because the Advertiser Friendly Edition can also serve as a future protest video in case some of my content does get deemed not advertiser friendly. Like, I haven't been struck with that not advertiser friendly bullcrap yet, but I'm going to preemptively stick up for YouTubers that are going to get started with this in the future because people need to start caring about the little guy. Thank you for watching. This took so many retries because so many things happened in the background and my computer dings whenever Orion talks to me on Messenger. But hopefully this will leave a message to YouTube to get their shit straight. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.